And I can't wait to see you in GTA 6. See me in GTA 6. See you in. It was live. I could have stayed my ass in Los Santos. Man, Rockstar, man, me and them is so good, man. We good. They started doing Dark Vader, Mickey Mouse, yeah. Minnie Mouse, Kermit the Frog, you, Winnie the Pooh, you, and every, you, everyone. Man. Dog Does she ever stop with that brain surgeon, the lawyer she with? Oh, hell no. Nah. Now, if you ever played GTA 5, which, let's be honest, who hasn't at this point? You're probably familiar with the character Franklin. Man, you can't be for real. Now, he's one of three playable characters from Rockstar's open-world action-based video game. Now, all three of those characters are unique, but today, I decided to sit down with the voice actor of Franklin, Sean Fontino. Now, we're gonna discuss his thoughts on GTA 6, what he hopes to see in the upcoming entry, what it was like working with Rockstar, and pretty much whatever else comes to mind. No, we start I'm telling you right face. now, but that's your opinion, bro. And if you really want some insight on all of this and more, well, you're gonna wanna watch this one to the end. I'm Akeem, and this is GTFM. So 10 year anniversary, y'all are gonna be going on tour? Yeah, um, yeah. I gotta, say, I gotta say this first off though, uh, you, got your, you got your YouTube channel. Yeah. Uh, Nez got his. Yeah. How you let this, this old man surpass you? <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. He yeah. is killing it. Yeah, Kai yeah. Sinet, I show speed, like, what are you doing? I just what we, started. What are we doing, Sean? I never wanted to do it. Really? I never, well, I started doing, um, uh, streaming on um, Twitch. Okay. Wasn't yeah. even thinking about YouTube. Never. Yeah. It's a crazy story about the YouTube stuff. My, that that YouTube channel was actually my daughter's YouTube channel, and it was called Fontino Media, which is my last name. Yeah. So my daughter, she had that channel, and she was doing her personal stuff. And right. she did an interview with me years ago on there, and it went big, but I just never followed it up. Yeah. Because it was her thing. I never even wanted to do the streaming stuff. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. But um, since I started my own, uh, Rockstar blessed me and gave me the the green light to do my own server. It's called Franklin's World RP, uh, 5M. We changed it from RP, it's 5M now. They gave me where well, I can be Franklin. I can be the character Franklin in this play world. You know, T Grizzly, all these guys is doing this. Kai Sinat, all these, they, matter of fact, Kai Sinat and not them people just reached out to me, uh, Phantom. What's up, Phantom? Uh, he reached out to me, so I'm, I'm a fly to, out there to Atlanta, go with him and Sky Sonata and all of them. And then my YouTube gonna really blow up. Right now I'm at like yeah. 20 some thousand, but I just started yeah. and I'm a dude in the streets in LA, bro. I still run the streets. I still hang with my fellas. I still talk to some of my hood dudes. I still, you know, dabble in certain things. And it's a difference with us, but when it comes to us getting together to do this GTA shit, we come together, man. Yeah. You mentioned this uh, before we started that y'all are gonna be going on tour yeah. For, for the 10 year anniversary and Steven's gonna be a part of it, which mm -hmm. like, I think like a lot of the fans know that Steven has had some aversions to being referred to as Trevor. Yeah. Calling him a cartoon character. <laughs> so I'm kind of curious, how did, how, how did he get, how did he get on this tour? And what, what are your feelings about like, just how Steven kind of like approaches uh, the Trevor character today? Personally, I felt, I can't speak for Steven, why he felt the way he felt. Right. It's, it's not me. It's not Ned. You know, we happy when people say, what's up, Franklin? I turn into f***ing Franklin. What's up, dog? What's happening? What's cracking? You know what I'm saying? I'll right. be like so happy because Rockstar gave us this platform, man, for us to take on for as long as we can live to our last dying breath. And it will surpass and keep going when we're dead and gone. People are still going to talk about us. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to soak it in, man. This is the biggest thing in entertainment, man. The biggest thing in my life and achievements of entertainment, you know, and I'm so grateful that Rockstar picked me to be in this GTA 5. So when Steven did what he did, I got a glimpse of it that don't call me a cartoon character. I'm not Trevor. I'm Steven Ogg. He do do that. He does that when we used to go on Comic Cons. But that's that's if that's what he wants to do, that's what he wants to do. He got to deal with the precautions of that, the backlash from it. Me, I'm Franklin Clinton, a.k.a. Sean Fontino. Yeah. Sometimes I go that way, not Sean Fontino, a.k.a. Franklin Clinton. Sometimes I just want to be Franklin. Right. I do, yeah. bro. So when he does that, man, it's to, to me, I wouldn't do it. I will 
you know, soak it in because this this video game, these characters has made us who we are today. Right. And that's facts. I don't care what he say, what nobody say, what anybody say. These characters of us being in Grand Theft Auto has merged us and put us on a platform to where we get calls from these um, producers, these directors, these writers, these film people, these whatever in entertainment. Yeah. It comes from this game, these three protagonists, uh, Franklin, Michael, Trevor. It comes from that through Rockstar Games. So I'm going to always stand behind that, man. I'm a Rockstar family member, and I'm going to stand. You see, I got the hat on right, Rockstar, yeah, no, I see, bro. I, I, I'm, I'm peeping it. Man, Rockstar, yeah. man, me and them is so good, man. We good. We good, man. I don't want to get into deep how good we are, but we good, man. Yeah. We good. They they, they, they awesome to me. Right. So yeah. I'm going to ride it out. I'm a, like I said, I can't speak for Steven. Right, yeah. Call me Franklin, all y'all want to say, <laughs> or Mr. Clinton. <laughs> when you started, way back when, when, when they when they blessed you with this opportunity. Yeah. You you were like, you're part of this community now. So I'm kind of curious, where were you and what what, what was your reaction when you saw uh, the GTA 6 trailer? Like what, what, what were your like immediate thoughts? And wh where were you too? I was at home when they dropped it. Mm -hmm. You know, every, I mean, who wasn't glued to the screens, glued to their phones, glued to whatever, where they can see this at. When I saw the trailer, bro, I just was like, I wasn't um, I'm like shocked or like, whoa, because I know Rockstar, man. Yeah. I already knew. I already knew, bro, they, they, you, don't, you don't do nothing but go higher, better, higher, better, better. Not to take from any of the other games, because in their time, they were the best at their time frame. Right. Yeah. GTA V, it was the best. 10 years ago at its time frame. You got to think 10 years. Mm -hmm. And and when they dropped GTA 6 trailer, I was looking at it, the difference in the graphics, the, the body difference, types. the body types, the, yeah. the storyline that I saw that they were working on, bro. It was like, <laughs> what the f You know, me, a couple of my partners, we were all on the phone hitting each other like, you see this <laughs> And of course, you know, I get tons of phone calls. Man, I know you in it. Are you in it? If you ain't in it, I'm going to be mad and all this, bro. Let, let me say this so we get to this subject. I know yeah. you're going to get <laughs> GTA 6. Let's get all this shit out of the way so we can move yeah. on. Yeah, okay. Everybody want to know if I'm going to be in it. You can rub your hands all you want. If I, if I did know I was going to yeah. be in it, I couldn't say I was in it. You already know that. Uh, yeah, bro. I know. You know, but I don't know nothing, bro. I'm being honest with everybody. I just don't know nothing, man. That's all I can say is I don't know <laughs> nothing about what's happening, what's going on. And if I did know, I'm looking at the camera right there, that's the camera right. Yeah. It's called NDA. I couldn't tell you even if I did know. Yeah. So, NDA for GTA. Let's just, NDA like, let's just get that GTA. out the way. Yeah, they, uh, Bars, they, by the way. Exactly. And one thing y'all got to remember, man, Rockstar moves like a stealth plane, man. They move in silence. They yep. sharp, man. Yep. They smart. They sharp. They leak out what they want. Yep. To throw people crazy, make them think and make them say stuff. Then they they marketing team, their team over there is amazing, bro. I, I lived through it through GTA 5. I was like, man, they are strategically sharp. They are really playing chess, not checkers. You yeah. know, they really sharp in their moves. So I, I would love to see Franklin in I GTA think we all 6, would. Man. Everybody probably would. They would love to see all of us in it. But I'm speaking for me, Sean Fontino. I would love to see me in there. Yeah. I would, it, man, it would just put the icing on the cake for me, man, where I could say, Lord, <laughs> I'm ready. Whatever, right, <laughs> whatever yeah. you want to do, I did it. Uh, I want to I kind of dial things back a little bit because I, I feel like what GTA 5 did for you and Ned and Steven, it, it kind of like, would it be fair to say they kind of changed y'all's lives back then where it's like hell yeah it, it introduced you to this this global audience yeah um of gamers who are avid who really who really care about this content yeah what do you think uh like the the actors that are behind um the two pro tags in gta 6 like do you have any advice for for them like for lucia and jason like what could you impart to them with the knowledge that you have now that you didn't have back then the first and most thing and the only thing I can say, man, is just soak it in. Yeah. Enjoy the moment, man. Trust in what Rockstar is going to do. Trust in what Rockstar has planned. And just ride the ride, man. No matter how the ride is, enjoy. Get your surfboard and surf the wave, man. <laughs> I'm looking at both of y'all. 
surf the wave. Let, let things work the way they should work. They're going to work out fine. Trust me. I know they're going to work out fine. Just ride the wave. That's the only advice I can give them. I can't, I can get into detail about all kind of stuff that I've been through and what we went through, but that's not fair to them right. because I don't need to be um, saying things that they don't need to hear right now. Mm-hmm. Only thing they need to hear is just to continue working, work hard, um, be thankful, and just be a team player with Rockstar, man. Trust me, this is the best team that you want to be on. Enjoy it. I'm telling you. I'm looking at both of y'all. Enjoy it. <laughs> Who, whoever they are, because we don't know who they are. Whoever you are, enjoy it. Hopefully, yeah. God willing, that we be able to do some stuff together. Right, you yeah. Know, some shows or interact with each other. It's, it, time will tell all. Right. Time will tell all. So congratulations to you guys, whoever it is. Congratulations, man. Yeah, That's all bravo, I yeah. I got to ask you, though, what did you think when you first saw Lucia, like that character? I mean, like, I think... Hey, she's fine, man. I mean, she is. She, she's also a badass. <laughs> she is. <laughs> That's what I like. Yeah. She, yeah, she right, man. I yeah. like I like what I saw, man. I'm like, shit. And, and um, I, I got to say this, man. Ned said on something, I don't know if it was with you guys or somebody, about the big asses in, <laughs> he did see in that GTA here. Uh, yep. 6, man. <laughs> Ned, get the f*** out of here, man. <laughs> That's your opinion, bro. Me and you, Ned, come on. Me and you know, bro. We talk all the time. Me and Ned fight about this yeah, all the yeah. time. He do not like the thicker kind of women, which is cool. That's his preference. Me and everybody else that I know, you. Man of culture. Man of culture. Man of culture. Hey, we want some some. I was like, I'm, oh don't my God. we started on this conversation. No, Sean. we started this conversation. I'm telling you right now, when Jeez. I saw that trailer, I was like, I don't even, I rewinded it like I paused 19, it. 20 times. <laughs> Put it in slow motion in certain parts. I'm not going to say which part. I but know which part. The girl in the car, man. Yeah. Say this man. She, that one she, and the strip club. Oh, yeah. You know, I mean, I'm just yeah. saying, again, man of culture, you all know. Yeah. Don't don't, don't judge me in the comment section. Yeah, over, I know y'all over were there. doing the same damn thing. Shit. Oh, that one's yours. You point at that one, I'm gonna point at that one. And I'm don't pointing judge at that one. Us. Don't judge okay. us, God damn but no, yeah, like, like, seriously, bravo to, <laughs> bravo to Rockstar Games, because, like, I feel like they've definitely, because, like, in reality, in the real world, there's so many different body types, and this is goes to show how much uh, effort that they've been putting putting into the game that's make sure that this representation for for the thicker the thicker people you know thick men and women yeah, you know, yeah, I don't know, you know yeah, what I mean like yeah. they, they really there's so many different body types and they made sure to like showcase that in that first trailer I kind of knew y'all would get to this point but I wish you wouldn't have talked I want to talk to you about Blast Crew yeah yeah uh, I, I saw what you were doing that's with uh Brian Zampella Brian um, man. But y'all it's it's a I'm not necessarily sure what it is, but y'all did a short, which you were brilliant in. Thank you, bro. Thanks, man. Freaking phenomenal. (laughs) It it felt like I was watching a GTA movie, or like a short almost. So I'm got, what is your relationship with this Brian Zampella guy? Who is Brian Zampella? Like his name is connected with GTA 6. Like, I know there's been some rumors that he might be Jason, but I don't, I honestly don't believe that. But I'm just kind of curious, like, what's your relationship with this guy? Who is he? I met Brian through a friend of mine named Joe Rubino. Uh-huh. Um, Joe is a, a former past director for GTA Five. He absolutely okay. were um, under control and shooting of the, the, the filming of a lot of scenes that iconic scenes that um, we did in GTA Five. Yeah. Um, Joe hit me and said um, a while ago, that he has this project that he wants me to be a part of. I never met Brian Zappella. I don't, I never even knew nothing about him, to be honest. I never knew nothing about the Blast Crew or anything until Joe hit me and said, hey man, I'm, I got this thing. I want you to um, be a part of it. Mm-hmm. He sent me a script. Um, I sent it out to make sure like, hey, you know, is this something that I want to be a part of? Um, I end up doing it. And we had a blast, man. It's, it's comical. It's different. Because I was like, what the f*** am I doing? <laughs> you know, it, I just thought something different what we was doing. But when we did it, it turned out to be funny, good, and different. It's right. 
tremendously different than what I thought I would ever do. You know, it's on some um, keep you captivated type of shit when I looked at it because I filmed it. So, you know, I still didn't know what direction they were going with it. When we were doing it, I was like, where is we finna go with this? What direction we going with it? Right. But then when I saw it finally, I was laughing. I was just, it was funny. It was cool. When I opened the briefcase up, I know what's in it. I can't tell y'all what's in it. Oh, hell no. I, was just I can't ass. say, bro, but it, I, when I found out what is inside of this briefcase, I f laughed so f hard, dude. Trust me, <laughs> dog. Just trust me when y'all find out your face is just going to drop in your lap. Okay, so there so there is more to Oh, yeah. Hell see. yeah. Hell yeah. It's a it's a it's it's coming. There we go. Blast crew is on their, their way. way. There we go. Uh, so I, I want I got to ask you this uh, just circling back to GTA 6. Uh I I know you've been you've been actively playing GTA 5. What what features um looking at GTA 6? I know this is like again, we don't know what to expect, but I'm kind of curious like what features would you want to see in uh, GTA 6, um, maybe uh, what we've seen, what maybe some features from GTA 5 carry over to GTA 6. If you if you asking me what I would want to see, I would want to yeah. see some GTA 5 integrated into GTA 6. I would like to see that, but like I said again, bro, I can't. I don't know. I don't know what their plans are, what they're doing, how they're doing it. You know, people try to ask me questions and stuff in interviews to see picking my brain to see if I say something that I know something or I'm right. in it. Yeah. All I can keep telling people, man, it's the same old stuff, man. I would just like to see a great game. I don't I don't care who's in it, what's in it. Um, I just want to play and see a good, good game. And I know it's going to be a good game. I know it's going to be the shit. Um, of course, I would love to see me in it. Like I keep saying, right. and I keep saying again and again, that'll be a blessing to me. But if not, bro, Hey, man, I'm going to support it either way because I'm just a video game player. I love to play video games. I'm excited for it when it come out as well. I'll be right there with y'all. I might not be standing in line to get it because I think I will get blessed enough to to get it. I mean, Rockstar, is, if they don't hook you up. Come on, man. With a copy. Come on, man. I could, I could probably get one right now. If I was you could probably one. get an, or yeah, a, a dev kit. <laughs> yeah, you probably could get a dev kit sent to you right now. You could be playing it right now if you if you, if you ask. If it was ready to be played right now, I'm more right sure now. I yes. can see some of it or see something. So again and again, man, um, to answer your question, man, I just want to see a good game, a good quality game. I yep. just want to know that they took a while to, for it to come out. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of people wonder why it takes so long. Um, I don't know. All I know is that GTA 5 was just still um, just rolling and still, yeah, still making popping. noise and still yep. doing, man. The online package came and then I end up doing the, the, um, the, the DLC contract. You did the with DLC. Dr. Dre. Did Dr. Dre, yeah. Yeah, Dr. Dre's on the contract, man. And thank God I was able to be uh, called to be in that. Um, and it was fun filming that to get back into the suit and get back into that life and get back into that type of work, man. I thought that it was pretty much over, you know, like we were just going to move on with our shit. But, man. Well, it's it was it was great. You, you spoke uh, on, on the contract. It was great to see uh, you and Slink, um, Slink Johnson, like, the dynamic duo back back at it again uh, in that DLC. I, I want to ask you about GTA Five though. So the whole uh, the whole scene with Slink making fun of you and your Yee Yee has as haircut was that improvised or was was that pure Slink or was that just was that written in the script? If y'all go through the the, the storyline, the cut scenes with me and him, um, Slink was 50-50 mm -hmm. on sticking to the script. Yeah. Slink was sticking to the lines, but adding a lot of his flavor. That's that Apache blood in me, homie. You ain't lucky I ain't do a flying tomahawk and scalp they motherfucking ass. We can't repo the assets of a dead man, big sitting cheap. So it ended up working out good because it ended up being easy for me to work with him because we come from the same culture. We come from the same uh, lingo, the same slang, the same yeah. shit talking. So I understood what he was saying. So it wasn't hard for me to pick up right behind him. But Slink was just... Man, like I tell everybody, like when he said that scene when we got out the van after chasing, uh, was it Stretch or uh, the dude that we chased down? We sick chop on him and we came back in the van. We made him get out because he and Slink was going, This ain't me. This ain't me. 
I've been knowing you since you've been in diapers, you know, and all that. And yeah. we pulled up and he like, man, I'm finna get on, man. Uh, I like, man, you better, man, you better look out. He was like, I can take care of my sizzle. No, I didn't, I didn't know he was finna hit me with that. But the cold part about it, when he getting out saying, I can take care of my sizzle. I instantly, because we come from the same culture, yeah. I came right back. No, the f you kids ain't. You see what I'm right. saying? So yeah. it was yeah. so easy for me to work with him, but it was hard at the same time because I didn't know when he was gonna go to the hood with shit and then keep it professional. Right. Yeah. Actor yeah. with shit. So that's my boy, man. Slink my dude, man. Slink know how we rock, man. That's my guy, man. And we working. Me and Slink, man, we be working, man. We do shit together, interviews together. Um, whatever we need to do. When we came up with that yee yee ass haircut, he called me with yeah. it. I was already saying, man, we got to do some type of skit. So me and him, would, I would pull up at his house. It went viral, yeah. Yeah, and do some shit. We'd just do some stupid shit. I had a, I had a white ch uh, challenger. And I'd pull up at his house. I had a Hellcat. And I'd pull up at his house, and he'd jump in, and I'd take off like Franklin and Lamar in the car and all that shit, and we'd film it and all that shit. But when the idea of him and um, I forgot my guy name, man, they came up, man, let's let's reshoot this because the scene from that yee yee ass haircut, it started it start blowing away before we start shooting that. It just started going viral because they started doing Dark Vader, Mickey Mouse, yeah. Minnie Mouse, Kermit the Frog, yeah. Winnie the Pooh, you, and ever, you everyone. Name it. Dog, did she ever stop with that brain surgeon, the lawyer she with? So Slink was just sharp on it, like, man, let's 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 shoot it. And the crazy story about when we shot that, man, Slink was like, man, we're going to shoot it over here in this neighborhood, right? And I was like, I can't go over there. <laughs> I can't be in that part of town because of my past. Right, yeah. yeah. Even though it was old 20-some years ago, uh, 25, maybe 30 years ago, right? But uh, I just can't go over there right. because of just me thinking the stuff that I've been through with yep. these dudes in this neighborhood, like gunplay type you know so we went and i said do fuck it. yeah i said fuck it i'm gonna go that's just the ignorant in me bro like fuck it, let's do it so like no nah, we're gonna be cool this at my boy my mom's house or grandmother's house or some house so i said fuck it, let's go so i'm pulled up and i'm sitting out in the car but i'm ready you know i'm my conscious mind is saying um and putting it in me and getting dressed in the car and I'm putting my shirt on in the car and a sling standing outside the car and a dude pulled up in a convertible car and he was like, hey, what's up, blood? Y'all know where y'all at? And Slink was like, yeah, man, we just over here shooting something. I'm pushing my door with my feet and getting ready for what he about to try to do. Yeah. Like, I want to be able to save myself too, you know? Not to be on no violence at all, like I'm tough, but I was just ready for the bullshit. Yeah. And he like, yeah. And we were just staring at him. And I was just watching him, making sure he don't pull nothing out the car. And right. I'm just looking at him, looking at him like, watch out, Slink. And telling Slink to get out the way in case anything happened. And I got to do some helping. Get out the way, you know. And um, the dude pulled off. And I told Slink, I said, hell no, nah, let's roll, bro. Let's get the f out of here. Because I know what he finna go do. Right. And it's, it's a shame that us as our culture, man, as black men, that's how we are with each other over a and color and the gang shit a part of territory it sucks that you know you get to the age that i am and slink am and we still got to deal with this bullshit or our mind state still got to think that way i should be freely mind at the age i am to feel like i can go over here in these areas these young kids shouldn't even be thinking about me like that right yeah but it happens man yep it's a territorial thing but we end up leaving and going to my neighborhood which is in watts and we end up where y'all see that scene shot at that's at um one of my best friends um, house right there it's, it's in my neighborhood mm -hmm. and we shot it right there and it was no problems it was cool everybody respect me over right, there yeah. so you wouldn't have we didn't have none of that problem and it worked out to, to work out better right yeah it's I'm, I'm glad that your instincts are still sharp in that regard where it's like you Hell you know yeah. like no let, yeah yeah let's still you, you're not like yeah let's still film film here after that instance ju after that just happened yeah you're like no let's uh let's get out of here so nah yeah good, yeah good instincts i gotta ask you this so i think this might be our final question uh -huh. um I gotta ask you, what was it like working with Dr. Dre? Like, do, were you, was he there when y'all were filming? Nah, he wasn't there. He Damn. was, he was, Dre was supposed to be there. But uh, me and Dre, cool. That's my boy. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we did the, <clears throat> the wash together, and I've been dealing with Dre before that. You know, it ain't like he a stranger to me. Dre's a, a legendary producer, bro. Nobody can take that from him, man. He's the best at it, bro. 
Come on, dog. So to just know that I was in the contract with him, yeah, it's the shit, man. You know, we um we did our thing. Um, me, Slink, and all of us, we filmed in New York. I think they set it up for Dre to do his shit here, but you know, Rockstar know how to make it like we were sitting right, right yeah. there with each other. Um, uh, but yeah. It, that's how we did that, man, and, and the contract came out pretty decent. It was, it was nice. It was phenomenal. It was a great deal. Yeah, so, yeah. Well, Sean, I want to thank you for coming on. I can't wait to see you in GTA 6 okay. uh, yeah, next yeah, year. Man. Uh, you, yeah, okay. We see got confirmation. Me, see me in GTA see, 6. See you in yeah, okay. GTA 6. Okay. Yeah, okay. Y'all okay. heard it here first, yeah, okay. right? <laughs> are, are we are we confirming this right now? Nah, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be in GTA, in GTA 7 for sure. <laughs> Okay, GTA 7, <laughs> what year is that? What, 2050? I'm going to be, let me say it the correct way, bro. If y'all really want to know about GTA 6, I'm going to be into GTA 6. I'm going to be playing GTA 6. That's all I can say, man, right now. You know what I'm saying? I don't know, bro. Okay. What happens from this day forward, maybe it's still room for, for the kid, man. Yeah. I don't know. I'm, well, I'm I'm hoping we all get to see you at least playing the game uh, on oh, your YouTube will. channel. Yeah, like you got it. And yeah. again, you got go 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 hook up with with Kai and see get 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 your get your YouTube popping, man. Yeah, you got, you got to get this streaming yeah. streaming stuff popping. I see I see you popping up on on IG with with your lives, but honestly, you got to get your YouTube popping. I've been popping. You ain't seen the latest um of me filming. I'm I mean, streaming. Have, but yeah, I'm but I mean, popping like Ned. I'm fit to like the old I'm, man. I'm, I'm on that old ass. I'm on that <laughs> old ass. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. I started later. Um, if I would have started when he started, I'm pretty sure we'd be at the same pace. Yeah. You know, give or take. But one thing about it is, when me and Ned and them, man, we don't we, we don't care about who's here or who's there. Like it's not a competition. It's not a competition. Right. Yeah. Us. It's it's friendly competition exactly. where yeah. yeah, look where I'm at, but come on, I'm gonna help you get up right. here. I'm gonna show you what I've been through. Like I can call him. I called him last night about some mm -hmm. on my monetization stuff on YouTube. Mm -hmm. And he Ned always give me the best answers, man, because he he went through his trials to figure out how yeah. his can get monetized. So we give each other the best answers, man. That's my dude. That's my that's my um uh, that's my uh, Robin to my Batman, right. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I'm probably his uh, uh, Robin to his Batman, you know? That's, that's, that's somebody, you know, I f with here and there. Like I said, we we got different views, but that's still my boy. Right, yeah. Well, if you need any help with your YouTube channel, just let me know. I I, I, I need, need a lot of help. I need y'all to go <laughs> subscribe to my YouTube channel, man, and take my channel up there. I need to get over 100K yes. in the next seven days, man. Yeah, we, we're definitely we're gonna have it in the description, so y'all need to go and subscribe to Sean's YouTube channel. Subscribe. Yeah, Solo, I want to thank you so much, man. Man, bro, this was, this was good. You already yeah. know, bro. Yeah, you already know, man.